Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Transform My Space with Mav Construction. Today we want to talk about how much does it really cost to build a foundation on unstable ground. We know foundations can be expensive, so we're going to show you to the T all the expenses that go into it from the labor to the supply of the materials, the likes. So please, if you like this type of content, do like, do subscribe, show us some love, would really love to grow the channel. So everything starts off with a plan. The plans have got to go through the municipal councils and they've got to be pretty much approved by the councils. But most importantly, you also need to get an engineer that you appoint for the drawing so that your drawings are then um, approved by the engineer as well. So the drawings came up to about 72 rand per square meter because this house was 150 square meters. The total cost for the drawings was 13,800. But we're going to keep that in isolation um, because that's not the focus of this. We are interested in sharing the costs of the foundation itself. Now, because we were building on unstable soil, the soil was classified H2, I think, by the engineer. And they had to design a special strip foot foundation reinforced with steel. Now you can see on the picture here that the steel had to be used running Y12 rods uh, in parallel, three at the top, three at the bottom, and tied together by your eight millimeter thick um, metal strips. Now these can be quite pricey. Now the white 12 steel rods cost 15,000 per ton. This particular house required just over half a ton, totaling the cost at 9,000 Rand for the steel. We then had to pour some concrete. I think in this particular case, we opted to go for ready mixed concrete, which means it is delivered ready mixed with the specifications according to the engineer. They normally charge 1,350 per meter cube plus an additional 85 rands per meter cube pumped. This helps you reach far much better back onto the site and not have to stress about pushing concrete on wheelbarrows. Works out a lot easier. We needed to pour for a volume of 16 meters cube. So the total cost of the concrete then came to 23,000 rands. Once this is left to cure over some time, we can then start looking at um, building the foundation walls. There we required some cement, we required building sand. We use clay stocks, which are pretty good for foundations. The thing about clay is that it is very, very good and it comes to water resistance, so it can handle you know the water um, much better coming from the ground protecting your house from any damp issues we needed quite a couple of brick force rolls in this case 30 brick force rolls were then used so that gave the total cost of the foundation walls a whopping 22,500 bucks now You'll notice that the soil that is being used here was quite bad and wasn't compacting very well. So that entire soil had to be removed at an additional cost, of course. And then we had to place an order for 10 meters of compactable soil so that we could actually effectively compact. And that also meant having to rent out a compactor. Now, because the soil is costing, I think, at around 400 a meter cube, the total cost of the compacting then came to 4,800 rands. Once this is compacted, then it's looking pretty good. We can then start laying out the mesh wire. Now, mesh is typically priced at 600 per unit, the unit being 6 meters by 2.4. This particular house needed, uh, I think, 10 such sheets of mesh. So we then had to lay out those meshes. So then the total cost for this coming to a whopping 4,600 rands just for the mesh to be laid out. We do also use some uh, concrete chairs to lift the mesh a bit from the ground so we can pour the concrete effectively. 
then after that we had to then again pour some concrete at the very same price like i mentioned earlier you're looking at 1350 rand per meter cube of concrete poured plus an additional 85 rand per meter cube pumped in this particular case we also laid down two rolls of dc dpc to protect you know the structure from any moisture coming up to impact the walls of the foundation because we were looking to lay out three uh, 15 meters cube of concrete this um, came to a total cost of 22,800 rands we were almost done and so just to add the labor the labor costing 15,000 rand from digging out the trenches to tying up the steel and coordinating the pouring of the concrete etc the entire project then comes to a total of 105,000 rand um, 500 rands so there you have it that's how much it will pretty cost you to build foundation on unstable soil classified h2 it's a total of 105,000 rand 500 bucks